Yeah, so we started our business um, in sort of 1989. Um, I only joined the company about 1991 and we were really in engineering software in those early days. Um, but um, we kind of stumbled across uh, inkjet uh, technologies in the very early 90s. And um, then started selling uh, RIP solutions for uh, really doing poster, short run poster printing on inkjet. And um, it, it happened to be uh, related to a, a lawsuit, which was uh, nothing to do with us, that we, we lost a, a distribution. Finding a new partner, I stumbled across a company called Best uh, in Germany at that time, and uh, they were selling a proofing uh, RIP, and uh, this was something very new for us. And uh, it was sort of through that investigation that we started to uh, sell inkjet technology for proofing, and that just happened to be in the perfect timing uh, for us because uh, it was no sooner than maybe one year later there was the CTP boom in South Africa where uh, film stopped and, and everyone went direct to plate. So we had uh, many customers, many big distributors in, in the, in the co computer to plate uh, arena that became our, our resales partners at that time. So uh, that, that kicked off our color management business, yeah. I oh, know, I think that's uh, uh, not too true actually. Um, you know, if you look at color management in the packaging industry today, it's still a, a highly uh, uh, required uh, skill. And um, certainly um, color management also in the digital world uh, is important. So uh, today we find brands become very fussy uh, about their brand colors and they, they, um, they tend to put some value to that. And, and that's where we come into the business, yeah. We, we helped uh, with a project a couple of years ago for uh, Pepsi, and um, this was really precisely for, for measuring the consistency of, of, um, of their cans uh, across the globe. And uh, so they have a central uh, uh, solution and database where they can see how the uh, performance of, of the print production is, uh, no matter where it is. Yeah. Well, I think it's. In fact, the latest technology makes it quite easy because it makes the communication of information uh, far better. Um, and, and really, you know, what you're saying is you're measuring at the end of the production line, you really need to be measuring all the way through the production line, starting from ink manufacture. So uh, it's raw materials that are coming in, and then of course it's production uh, quality management or color measurement. Uh, and then of course there should be a QC stage at the end of all of that. I really think it's a bit of both. Um, uh, certainly we see a lot of things going wrong in pre-press departments, um, uh, you know, between uh, file exchange, between uh, the, the customer or designer and, and pre-press can be a, a big problem. Um, but certainly uh, on-press production is, is equally as important. And, and uh, you know, the press room is a, is, a, is a moving beast at the best of times, and uh, you, you need to have very strong process controls there. And we really find that this is probably the area that is lacking the most in terms of, uh, let's say, uh, modern measurement uh, skills or, or uh, requirements, yeah. Well, I, th I think it's, it's it, of course, it's different in a way in the sense that we, we kind of manage the file within the RIP in, in, a, in, a, in a digital environment, whereas in, a, in an offset environment, uh, uh, it's, it's quite different where there's really no color management between the plate and, and the press other than the control of the operator. So um, I would say the, we have a much more scientific or, or, or clinical way of working in, in the digital world. Um, but, you know, again, digital presses are not always that stable and uh, one has to have the right tools in place and the right uh, processes or procedures in place to keep them uh, well calibrated. And, and again, that's, that's the lacking uh, part of many people that run digital presses. This is where we see our niche and uh, this is uh, yeah, absolutely what we do here. Yeah. Yeah, so we try to identify the, the problem. And um, as I said, it, it can be a pre-press related issue, it can be a press room related issue. Um, so uh, it can 
the, the many uh, reasons. And I think, again, you know, that's where we, we really benefit the industry. Uh, to make a profile is not a, a difficult uh, task. Okay. Anybody can do it. But you really need to understand the processes in play in order to diagnose uh, the problem and, and help the customer in the end. And I think this is where we do a fairly good job. Print today has, has changed uh, from an art form to something that's very much an IT driven uh, uh, platform today. So, um, you know, um, one of the challenges, we, as I've said, we, we find is, is really uh, the education uh, part in, in the industry. It's something I'm quite passionate about. Um, but we have to change the mindset. We have to change the mindset away from saying how many. Uh, pieces of heavy metal can I purchase and uh, we need to change the mindset to saying let's look at workflow automation let's look at uh, upskilling our people uh, and that I think will, will certainly pay dividends uh, to, to our customers in the end of the day.